Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. One last day for the Valley of Repose here. Let's go. And uh, while I pull out my Pikmin from the onions and ship and whatnot, I'm gonna talk about Mario and Luigi for a sec here. Um, I have no idea why, but I have just felt tremendously rusty at the game. I mean, I know a lot of the a lot of the uh, game's timing and whatnot is muscle memory, but I don't know, even though I've played through it fairly recently, it feels like an eternity since I have or something. <laughs> it's hard to describe, really, I don't know, I just, I just feel really out of it when it comes to Mario and Luigi. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, practice the game while I'm making parts for Pikmin, well, Pikmin 2, and... Um, see how that goes then, you know, see how, uh, see if it improves my Mario and Luigi skills once again, I guess you could say, because I just feel like I've been sucking way too much on that game to, uh, uh, make walkthrough parts for it, and how's my numbers? Uh, I can raise both yellows and blues, and I'm really low on whites. <laughs> I'm not too worried about being low, low on whites, though, in all honesty, just... I just need whites for a few key uh, elements, I guess you could say. And what? Why did it just happen to be the red? <laughs> like, it just happened to land on red. It couldn't be yellow or blue, but it lands on red. Yes. It's just how things have been going with me recently in games, huh? <laughs> but uh, actually, I've been playing pretty well on uh, Pikmin here, so I don't... I'm not really worried about having to practice this game or anything like that, it just... I, I don't know with Mario and Luigi lately. <laughs> um, in the first section of this day, I'm mainly going to be focusing on breeding up ye old pick picks, If at all possible. Maybe it might be... Oh, no, 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 I want to... Yeah! Ah, that's good. Want to get some more yellow, sort of equalize the number growth sort of thing here, and ooh, ten pellets. I'm gonna throw some purples up there when it's red, and it'll be yellow when it's, uh, yep, that's what I thought. I feel so bad for all those whites getting demolished by the... Man at legs, but it just was not reacting the way I was ex ex expecting it to, even though it usually reacts the way I expect it to. <laughs> now let's go for blues here. No, e e e e e. no mm -mm. not close enough. Yeah. Oh, shoot! Well, I was just a little bit early, like a half second too early. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like Mario and Luigi, where, <laughs> where timing is more... Important Pikmin when it comes to breeding other Pikmin is relatively forgiving and actually I should probably uh, Get moving on ahead here to get that treasure that I purposefully missed out on uh, The last day that I was here that was underground. Hey, no trippy trip <laughs> It's uh over off to the right here, and I can use whites to unearth it And I'm probably gonna end up leaving one captain behind so we can bring the whole squad uh, back over here. Let's see here. Oh, 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 there it is. Just follow the radar. Follow the radar. And once it's partially out of the ground, um, other Pikmin will be able to pluck it out. So I think I'm gonna uh, do this, put other colors onto it, and then I'm gonna separate them and take the rest of my squad with me over to the back end of this place. Of which I will clear out with Olimar, and then I'll take the rest of the Pikmin back with Louie, uh, once they take that back to the Onion and whatnot. So, yep, multitasking for the win. Uh, let's see, I think I want to go this way, because I think it's further off. Go on, leggy purples, you may be flowered, but you're still the slowest kind. Um, up there is the last treasure of the area, and it's a real tricky one to get. It's this crown, which I'm pretty sure is Peach's crown. It's got a cannon beetle guarding it, and whoops! <laughs> I didn't think that that was gonna shoot. Uh, the withering blowhog was gonna shoot at me. Whoopsie. Spiny alien treats. And I'm gonna lose some flowers, aren't I? Dang it! Ah, poopers. I'll be able to re flower them later on, I suppose. Uh, in the meantime, I like to knock him out of the sky. Just get rid of him. 
get your freaking right back to the There we go. <laughs> I think I'm playing relatively well at Pikmin, eh? <laughs> now, what I'd like to do is get all but the. I was gonna say all but the whites. Um, on that bridge, because the whites, I'm going to try and take on the cannon beetle with. Keyword try. Uh, it's probably safer just to take it on with some other, like, just, just the captains, in all honesty. But uh, we're going to see how it goes with some whites, I suppose. Why I'm picking whites for this is because this, this slope is very slippery, and it's, it's not the easiest thing to get up. Come on, shoot against the wall again. Thank you. Yeah, look how slow we're going. Eh. <laughs> and now, what you want to do here is get it to aim... No, 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 this way. Towards this wall here. There we go. And now I'll start throwing Pikmin on it. What it'll do is... Oh, shoot. Well, that's not bad, actually. What it'll do is it'll throw it up... Ah, oh, poopers. No, it's not going to work there. It throws it up on the wall rather than um, down here. And it, it prevents it from... I mean, it prevents the Pikmin from getting squished by its boulders. Okay, shoot it again, do it again, do it again. Yeah, it's probably safer doing this with captains, but I want to show you the quote-unquote proper way of doing this, I guess you could say. And that, that, hey, 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 hey. Okay, uh, well, that's, that's not a bad position. Let's just throw them up now. Should be good. And they're going to start, we're just going to start kicking it off, yeah, like that. And there we go, yeah, that's the way it's done. And then I'll be able to get other colors up um, when I'm ready. See, once they're thrown up here, the slope makes them slide back down out of the way of the boulder. Isn't that a neat trick? <laughs> and I should probably probably should help it a little bit with the captain here. Yee. Just a little bit. Just to speed things along here. There we go. Alright, now let's get... I'm pretty sure I need more colors up here to uh, get that crown. So let's get a bunch of my picks. Doesn't really matter the color, I suppose. And actually, maybe I should uh, take that cannon beetle back with some blues. Just to get its numbers up. Come on, guys. Look how slow it is. <laughs> See how hard it is for Pikmin to get up here? Okay, let's got, get those on there. And get some yellows on there. And get some yellows on there. And put some stuff on here. It's kind of hard to get Pikmin on here, though. Because it's, it's on this really steep slope, and they tend to slide off. Oh, this is working. It's working. Okay. And, oh, come on. Come on, guys. I, I have faith in you. I have faith that you can do this. Eh, even if I have to carry you up. You will get up here. Nope. Mm, eh. uh, that one didn't make it up here, did it? Did, okay, there you go. <laughs> I had a perspective issue going on there. Alright. Uh, oh, eh. yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I only need, like, just one purple left on there. It's so hard to get Pikmin on this sucker. <laughs> Don't worry, I have enough time in the day to do this. Don't. It's not that big of a deal. It only takes like a minute to get back from the base, uh, back to up here and whatnot, so yeah, up oh, there we go, there we go! And, uh, sometimes, uh, the Pikmin... Oh, I, th I thought they were gonna take it off the slope and they were gonna just like, scatter when it hits the ground, but I guess not this time. <laughs> so that's a, a thing Pikmin can do, and uh, I wonder if I should get this cutscene out of the way here, just so I don't offset my timing a little later. Ooh, the final area! Yet another cave discovered! Venturing to the farthest reaches have us proven rewarding. You may be tired of walking, but just one last leap remains. Now, go get that treasure! Uh, by my calculations, the depth should be uh, completed by the time this day is over. You know, the, the depth to pay off at Hakatate Freight. So yeah, that should be wonderful. Um, when the depth is finished off, the day will end regardless of how much time is left on the day. That's why I'm trying to make as uh, as much of the, I guess you could say, as much time as, I should say, as much as I possibly can do uh, in this last day before the depth is recovered. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get some more Pikmin on here just to speed this up, because they seem really slow. I <laughs> uh, guess I'll plop a purple on that, it'll speed it up a little. And pop a purple on that. And then I'll get Olimar, I suppose, with this one last straggling leaf purple Pikmin. 
that I will take back with my own two hands to the Frontier Cavern. And by the way, um, this place has got all the hazards, so do not go in there <laughs> if you don't have all kinds of Pikmin. Okay, they're gonna get those back in time, I'm sure. Actually, let's check our map to see if there's, uh, oh yeah, that's right, there's a couple of, uh, yellows that weren't able to take ye all underground plants to the onion, because you can only have so many Pikmin onto a, uh, a thing, and there, because there's my other squad coming through with pellets. They will be good to go. This is looking pretty good. Alright, come on. Come on. Back to the ship. I want to get Peach's crown back to the ship. Why did you do that detour? You could have went behind the onion. Oh, fine. <laughs> Woo! Sometimes I wonder what, how the Pikmin AI works. Ooh, so shiny! Unspeakable wonder! And... Come on, guys! Come on! Not much left to go. Yep, that was the last treasure in the area, as you can tell by our treasure radar down there. Come on. Come on, blue. 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 Oh, God. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of being silly. Wait a second. If there's two on there, Alamar's got one. How many are left out on the field? Is it? Oh, there's a couple of stragglers. That are left out there, okay. Are those Pikmin taking stuff back? Because if so, they seem excessively slow, but I don't think that's Pikmin taking stuff back. Is it? Let's just see if they moved. Yeah, they're not moving. Okay, so they're just sitting around for some reason. They must have got left behind while I was rushing ahead with uh, Olimar. That's fine. I'll get them on my way back. And the Pikmin are singing with great happiness at the 100%ing of the area. Oh, purple leaves! You are the worst! I should have been paying more attention to the blowhog. Oh wait, wasn't there one drop of sap uh, left up above the um, uh, base? Well, it's too late to go back now, I think, because my purples are uh, straggling as it is. <laughs> okay, so the blue is up over there, as well as the whites are in the same pathway. How did, yeah, how did that even happen? Well, oh well. <laughs> okay, so 98, and then 99's coming up. It's a little purple. Oh wait, that's the purple that I threw that I was expecting to go onto one of the pellets, and it didn't go on the pellet. Usually if a Pikmin is in the path of a Pikmin that's carrying something, it'll go on to said thing it's carrying. That's kind of weird. Ah, whatever. We are going to make it back with time to spare. Well, a little bit of time to spare. Like, make sure all... <sighs> Come on, leaves! I know! I know you've had issues with one last push! One last push! We've made it to the final area of the Valley of Repulse! And let's go in... in the next part. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next parts.